Yeah, good morning. Some are calling it a masterpiece. Others are calling the towers a symbol of government dysfunction. Whatever you call it, though, take a look here behind me. The LAPD now surrounds the ocean-wide plaza. Still, taggers keep coming. In fact, if we pan up there, up to those buildings, you may notice new graffiti that wasn't there last week. Chief Moore telling me that graffiti artists are arriving from all over the world to leave their mark. He also says that the LAPD has regained control of the building. Constructed, construction halted on the three tower billion dollar project back in 2019 when the China based developer Oceanwide Holdings ran out of money. Law enforcement sources tell me these buildings have long been a problem, attracting copper wire thieves, even suicides. And the graffiti artists are just drawing attention to the abandoned high rises. Now, as we mentioned, officers surround the buildings and they made 12 arrests on Sunday. The taggers walked right into the LAPD's arms, though they denied they were there to tag. Even though their shoes, their clothes, you know, uh, had paint on them, they had cans in their jackets, and we did find a firearm as well. There was one individual who was on probation as well, too. That was City Councilman Kevin DeLeon. He introduced a motion that passed, giving the developer two weeks to secure the property and clear the sidewalks they've been blocking for years. And if they don't, the city will take charge and then send the company a bill. But again, Oceanwide Holdings is bankrupt and has more than 500 million in liens, according to Councilman DeLeon. So many question whether the city will ever recoup that money. And the councilman also said that he did not not believe that the LAPD should become the security firm for private development but back out here live some believe that's exactly what is happening and even some council members who voted to approve the motion express frustration and take took aim at their predecessors on the city council who they said allowed developers like Oceanwide Holdings to capitalize on Los Angeles and then left the city footing the bill. But the saga just continues. Live in downtown LA, I'm Christy Pajardo. Let's send it back to you.